What's happening? Crypto fam, happy, happy Friday. We have approached the last day of the week, if you if you don't work weekends, that is. Um, welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott, whether you're watching on IGTV, Facebook or YouTube. It is a pleasure to have you here and I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to consume the content. Let's get into it. It has been um, an eventful and emotional week to say the least um let's get it the foot behind us and uh move on if we can because we're all about loving the crypto i don't really give a fuck about anything else except for um interoperability liquidity and when it moves <laughs> dismiss that alarm so um we got a message off ledger We got a message off Ledger saying, like, just just remind your um, just remind your community if you don't have your keys, you don't own your crypto. I'm rethinking and I'm scanning the um, scanning the grapevine today, as 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 you say, looking for um, looking for some news and reports that the general populace um might be interested in. And we've got a lot coming up, regards to. A G Twitter and a lot, a lot of shit set to happen in June. So let's stay posted on that. But in the meantime, I just want to go through this. Um, a report that nearly ten million dollars in XRP stolen in GitHub Gate Hub hack, hack. Yeah, I. You get stuff like this comes out all the time, and it can just be a scam, and there was no hack. But occasionally it comes out, and we find out there was a hack. Now, when you're telling people about blockchain and DLT, uh, distributed ledger technology and shit like that, you kind of, um, at one point, you will say, oh, it's immutable and it's unhackable. It's unhackable, you know. And then people see a fucking story like that. So just screenshot that and flip it if you want to read it. But you, you, <laughs> we're telling people you can't hack it and then the fucking, they're writing that it's been hacked. And then, hackers have reported the compromise nearly 100 XRP ledger wallets on cryptocurrency wallet service GateUp. The incident was announced on, by GateUp in a preliminary statement on June 6th yesterday. In the statement, GateUp reveals that it was notified by some of its customers and community members that the funds on their wallets had been stolen. The company estimates that hackers managed to compromise around 100 XRP ledger wallets. Although the company did not initially identify any nefarious activities on its platform, it began an investigation on the matter, wherein it discovered increased application programming interface calls coming from a small number of IP addresses. This could um, purportedly be the way the culprit got access to encrypted secret keys. A community member... Um, one of those who warned GateUp about the breach, he published a report on the hack. He revealed on June the 1st that um, we were made aware of a theft of 201,000 XRP and immediately started an investigation. It turned out that the account robbed was managed through GateHub.net um, and, and that the offending account had stolen substantial amounts of several other XRP accounts. Um, likely to be managed through gatehub.net. Um, he states that as of June 5th, approximately 23 million XRP, nearly 9.5 million at press dollars worth at press time, were stolen from 80 to 90 victims, which around 13 million XRP had already been laundered through exchanges and mixers. So I could go on here and it's just going to start ripping into it. I mean, it's only a little bit left, actually. Uh, they could still conduct in the in investigation. Earliest month intelligence firm chainless claimed that 64% of ransomware attack cash out strategies involve laundering. That's a fear monger article for me. Although it is giving some fucking truth. When there's a hat, that's a fear mongering article. Um, so, oh, you want to get into blockchain, mate? It's immutable, it's unhackable. But. Gate up got out the other week, mate. I saw it in the paper. Oh yeah, but that's that's hot um, hot wallets, mate. Hot wallets. You want cold wallets? What the fuck's a cold wallet? Oh, well, it's where you'll buy this thing called a ledger. It's ninety quid, eight eight ninety quid, hundred pounds, something like that, hundred dollars. 
Um, you just get one of them and then you own it then. You're like that, that. Yeah, fuck that. I'll wait till my bank sells it. <laughs> That's why it just doesn't seem trustworthy to most people. Now, off the ledger message, not your keys, not your crypto. And we say about Revolut all the time about how that is not your crypto. I don't care what anyone says. You do not own the XRP and that you're buying on Revolut unless they've done an update that now allows you to send the XRP out the network. If I, if they've done that, I'm, I, what I've just said is wrong. But if it's still the same, which I believe it is, you can't send XRP out of Revolut, so it's not your XRP. Um, you haven't got the private keys to... Um, to the wallets, it's not your crypto. It just isn't. If if you guys, you need to. Uh, I know a lot of you watching already know this, but this is for the people who didn't really, who were really unsure of why we've all bought ledgers. Um, I trust Wirex. I trust it. I do. But what if some fucker gets into the Wirex pool? Wirex pay out. Yeah, probably more than likely. But what if they don't? Some of them are fucked off. Some of these exchanges have just disappeared with people's funds, apparently. Yeah, you'll have to look into it a little more. I'm look, like I say, when I see a hack like this, I don't look into it too much. Most of our funds are on multiple fucking ledgers. We're as safe as we feel we can possibly be. It's interesting to know. It's actually safe to deposit boxes and not even that day. <laughs> Seriously. But yeah. It's one of the things... Um, stopping the mass adoption, in my opinion, not just like when you consider the regulator, uh, the regulators and the, the the governance to try to implement at the top at the moment. But we've got Wirex, we've got Revolut. It's not like the people at the bottom can't use crypto. It's not like the people we try to get into it haven't got places to go yet until the regulation and governance comes. They've just not got it on all the banking apps they trust. Yeah, the banking apps they trust. It's it's a weird one, isn't it? The banks caused a financial crisis 2008 and yet majority of the world still goes to them to store, tr um, store secure, insure all the fucking money, all the value. It's um, it's quite fucking crazy considering that they're still in that position after 2008. Um, yeah. Interest me, but just keep in mind, not your keys, not your crypto. If you do want a Legend Nano S or Nano X, they will be linked in the description. If you're not keen on them, you want links to something else, there is an Alipal link. There's fucking... Um, you can get a Trezor wallet if you wanted, but I'd, I'd, I'd much prefer a Legend myself. The Nano X is, is a quality, quality thing. You can just take it about and do it with Bluetooth. Or you get the Nano X, you need... Uh, you need the lead. The Nano S. Sorry, you need the lead. But yeah. Once we see the lights of... In the UK anyway. NatWest, your TSB, your Bank of Scotland. Even HSBC and all them. Once you start seeing them being like to the customers. Oh, we're offering crypto out. You can buy them. Um, you can store your cryptocurrency at the bank now. And you can also buy these CBDCs. Um, you can put your fiat in. So you can put your fiat currency in and you'll get CBDCs back. When they suck all that fiat currency up, like, ah, once it's gone, it's gone. There will be some people still using it, like Kurtz mentioned and Christine Lagarde's two-money system. Extremely, extremely interesting. But, guys, going to... Um, Cut it a little short so it stays under 10 minutes, as always, because it will go on IGTV. But, um, yeah, shout out, shout out to Crypto Area Actually. So I would have done that at the, at the beginning uh, for the liquidity, uh, <laughs> liquidity comment. And when we're saying it's fluent, we just go liquidity, liquidity, liquidity. It's all about liquidity, innit? It's all about liquidity, innit? Liquidity. <laughs> Anyway, if it's payday and you haven't got any XRP, don't delay. Go get some today. Yeah? Accumulate and wait. Live long and motherfucking hoddle. Health and happiness to you and yours. Wish you all the best. We love crypto. We love XRP. And although it doesn't seem it at times, we love you too. Fuck yeah. Peace. Take care.